Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 16th, 2021. Week 150. Our daughter turned 21 on Thursday. Yes, she did. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we have a 13-year-old and a 21-year-old. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> and a three-month-old. Yeah, she's three. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, little puppy's doing well. Her name is Bella, and she is um, chewing on everything and learning to potty train. And uh, she's doing pretty well. My fingers and hands attest to all the little marks and chews. She doesn't do that to me. Yeah. I don't let her. Well, it's not that I let her, but you know, you got to get a toy and give it to her to stop her from chewing on you or whatever it is that she's chewing. She's a puppy. Yep. I do a lot of the playtime on the floor when I get home from work and. Throw in the, we have a little fox that's actually quite cute. Yeah, fox is fun. It's flat. crinkly. And crinkly. Makes the crinkle noise and it's got a squeaker in it. It's but she loves the, the arms of it because it's got the rope to it. So we play a little bit of tug of war and of course mom always wins. Okay. <laughs> well, last week we didn't get a video in. We were both pretty sick. Um, ended up, Julia ended up picking up a cold at school and. She even had to test before she could go back, so everything was negative and everything was fine. Just got a pretty nasty cold. Mm -hmm. I think it's because all those kids were not together. And then yeah. when they did get together, end up, you know, giving each other colds. And then, sure enough, Stace and I picked that up from her, and we're still a week later fighting off yeah. that really sore throat and that fatigue and the yuck of just being sick. I lost my voice last <clears throat> Sunday when I woke up and I just got it back yesterday. Still have a little bit of a rasp to it, but <clears throat> for the most part, I'm definitely feeling better uh, yeah. back on track. The dog has been a little bit of a kink in sleeping patterns and trying to wake up every few hours. Although last night we got six and a half hours Whoa. in crazy? the crate, no accidents. So that part is going pretty well. So we're pretty happy. Yeah, we put the crate next to the bed so that we can hear her if she starts to stir and then just run her right outside. She's right. doing fantastic, though. I'd say 8 out of 9 out of 10 are, are all outside and everything's good. And uh, when it does happen, it's generally just because we haven't had her out every 45 minutes or every hour during the waking hour days. But in the crate at night, she's done fantastic. Yeah. We were starting at like two, three hours, <clears throat> and we stretched it to three, four hours, and like you just said, six hours last night? Yeah, I woke up wow. a couple of times, and she wasn't, her, yeah. Yeah, she wasn't stirring, so I'm like, well, she's not stirring. I'm not, Keep your head I'm down. not waking her up. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job there. Yeah. All right, well, um, this was from two weeks ago or from last week? This is last week's Okay, numbers. last week was 3.36. I did not, uh, we stayed... The same, both of us did, um, within like two points on our weight. So uh, last week I was 336. <clears throat> this week, the only thing I can tell you that was different, uh, the dog, obviously, the activity, being sick. But with being sick, all I've wanted to do is have soup, broths and soups. So I know they're higher in sodium and this, that, and the other, and it's not an excuse, but I was 338, so I'm up to um, I'm sick. I'm just, yeah. All I want is like soup. My throat hurts, you know. So, <clears throat> I don't last, know. It's a last, weird week. Yeah, last week I was at 152. This morning I actually weighed in at 151, so I'm hey. down a pound, thankfully. Um, life is going to get a little weird. I'm having surgery on the uh, 29th on my shoulder. Yeah, she's going to get this, <sighs> this stuff fixed. Instead of getting cortisone shots, which are like a band aid. Right. They're going to go in and clean things and fix and things. shaving and, the end of the clavicle and um, cleaning out all the arthritis and bursitis and bone spurs that are in there. And not well, sure on the bicep tendon yet um, how hopeful. they're going to address that. I'm hopeful it all helps you. And they can't determine until they get in there in some right. of these situations. But uh, the biggest thing of all that is just getting you out of pain yes. on a permanent situation instead of a cortisone shot, which just is a mask it's a band-aid you know it is uh bella is up one and a half to two pounds at this point she came home with us two weeks ago at four pounds and then last week she weighed five and just the other day stacy weighed her and she was close to or right at six right, right around six so yeah, yeah she's <laughs> she's up two in the last two weeks mm -hmm. she needs to watch what she's eat She's on, what is that, science diet, yeah. the old science diet. That's what they give them at the 
Humane Society where she came from. And uh, they recommended we continue that. So I bought a bag of that so that she could continue it. Yeah. Bill will have to... I'm looking over because she's by the door. Um, she's in her home. Um, it's a very pretty home. Yeah, it's she's... Very here, look, I'll home. show everybody. Right next to the door, she's got... There we go. Right next to the door, she's got a little crate there. It's like It looks like a little end table. It's like a little espresso... Thing. It's like a little doggy jail. Yeah, she's uh, she's having a blast in the, and it's right at the door, so it makes sense for the crating that we do for taking her out. Yeah. Then we have a little portable um, crate that we could use to like take in the car, take to the vet, and that's what we use next to the bed in the bedroom, so that she can be right there, so we can hear. Her. Yeah, if she's out to, here, we won't hear. Her. I certainly won't hear. Her. I yeah. can barely hear her when I she's. By my bedside, but um, I would fall asleep and not hear her because, uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're hoping to wean her. We figured she's only been here with us what two weeks now, so two weeks. um, as she gets more comfortable, we'll move that crate away from the bedside, yep, um, more towards know. the bedroom door, then more exactly. So we'll get there, bring her out here. She's doing pretty good though, but we keep it's nice because the tabletop is we keep her treats there, so when we take her out, she's got treats when she goes and does her business, and uh. Have a towel up there. Yeah. Wipe her paws when she gets in from everything being wet and she's so low to the ground. Well, it's getting bigger now. Um, but yeah, so it's she's it's, fun. It's, it's it's been it's been fun. It's been interesting. Um. <laughs> We're learning. She's training us. We're training her. Yeah. We watched a ton of videos on dog training, and we both had dogs too in the past. So, you know, she sits really well. She sits and she's working on down, and yeah. she knows taco. Because that's her favorite toy. I don't know where Taco is right now, but it's, it's a little the, squeaky it's toy. The, that's that's probably why she's quiet. Because it's in her little uh, room with her. Yeah, she but she's got a little bougie room. Yeah, she's got it all <laughs> set up with all that fancy stuff you put in there. I was just thinking, give her plain surface in case she went to the bathroom or something. But Stacy's got her all like. I want her to be comfortable, and she's doing really well in the crate. Um, she and is. She knows that you know she's on my side and. You know, it's not hard a little to wash bit more a towel. of a softy with her than I am, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's not hard to wash a towel or whatever, yeah. so if she has an accident, we'll just swap it out. Yeah, but Easy. I want her to, to like it being in there, sure. you know. And we give her treats, and we leave it open during the day when she's in and out of it constantly. Mm -hmm. I'll always throw like a little bone or something in there. Yeah. And uh, she, yeah, she's, I don't think she looks at it as a punishment or anything. Right. It's she's, a happy way. The first few times, oh my goodness. The whining was horrible. I had to take my hearing aids out. And, um, well, you have to remember, too, she, she left her mom. Right. She left her brothers and sisters. Her seven brothers and sisters. She seven. was a litter of eight. Yeah. And then she came with us to a whole new environment, a whole new place with people. Where's my doggy buddies and where's my yeah. mom? And Yeah, that's a lot of adjustment. So within two weeks, I think she's done really well. Mm -hmm. And she's doing good outside, too. So yeah, yeah. She's doing better than me on keto right now. Because I'm up to. She's up to, I'm up to. <laughs> Let's not make that happen. I have not really <clears throat> had much of a ambition for food. I just want soup. I just yeah. want stuff for my throat. That broth feels good. We've drank tea, a lot, a lot of broth, of tea a lot me. of tea. <clears throat> Bill makes a mean cup of tea for me. Yeah. I, I make her like a very special concoction. It's a wild berry zinger, so I like the flavored tea. I had a black tea. Ugh. We just had what we had up there until you went and yeah. bought the Zinger tea or whatever. See, I'm not a tea person, but coffee will work for me, and all I want is broth. And See, I, I don't like coffee. I've said it like nine times, but yeah. it's, it's like right now I'm just thinking, do I want like beef clear broth? broth? Uh, yeah, the chicken, chicken broth, a, a beef broth, or like a cream of chicken soup kind of a broth. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I just want some soup. <laughs> and I know it's full of sodium. It's not the greatest choice, but, you know, maybe that's why I'm up a little on the numbers. Probably. I don't know. I've been drinking a ton of water because I know that's important and helpful, too. And, of course, I'm on a slew of basic vitamins. Some of those are for immunity support, and then some of those are just things that I personally choose to take, too. So, yep. you just throw the alphabet in a bowl, and that's what I'm <laughs> taking pretty much. A, D. C, E, B complex, all kinds of 
quercetin, all kinds of things. Yeah. Anyway, so um, hope everybody's doing good. And uh, I don't know, 150 weeks of this. I don't think we've really missed a week. We've been late here and there or had to make up one here and there. But uh, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, being off most of the medicines, I'd like to have bigger weight numbers. Lower you know, weight numbers. Well, yeah, bigger weight loss. You weight, know, okay, bigger weight share. loss you'll take. <laughs> but uh, overall, I think we're doing pretty okay. Yeah, definitely uh, healthier. You know, I was very comfortable. And for what, almost two years, I sat at 135, 137-ish. And so I'm not liking the new weight I'm sitting at. But uh, hey, you're up about 10, 12. Yeah. Over. And I've been stuck in the 330s perpetually forever. Um I go up and down two, three, four, six, and I'm in the 330s. So I need to adjust the thermostat on the body. <laughs> Tell them, you know, hey, look, it's okay to go down under 330. Need to cool it down. Yeah. That's what I need. Just with damn menopause. <laughs> honestly, with the last two weeks and the puppy and being sick and everything, we were really sick last week. We barely <laughs> even had a voice. Um, we both look at each other like, are you going to make it this time or am I? <laughs> yeah, I was going to make the video. So she did a really quick two minute thing but um <clears throat> yeah i wouldn't say that you know it's it's like keto off the rails or nothing but just very very different sleep is different food is different even my want I, all i want right now is soup i want something for my throat so um it's it's not your normal weeks yeah but when you're in it for the long haul and you're just trying to do good you know you look back on it in two months and say, oh, yeah, man, that, that was some yucky times. But you move forward and you get through it. So, You're still off all those medicines? Still off mm, at least 80 90% of all those meds, no yeah. insulin. and Yeah, so I'll take all that as a victory. But i like to see some of the numbers go down. Amen. Yep. So everybody have a great week. Have a great weekend. And uh, we will see and talk to you all next Saturday. Sounds like a plan. Tell Stacy to let me get an RV <laughs> or a pop up because that's what I was been trying to do. But we'll see. Well, we had a great time camping, but we just were all scrunched in the van. Just yeah. Get a little more space and room, and then we could bring the dog. Everybody brings their dog camping. Yeah. They do. We can bring our little dog camping. We'll chat. But we need somewhere for the doggy to hang out with us. Okay. The van's really tight. It was. I just keep. And my hot I'll flash has got the van all. Drive hot. down the street and see a pop up for sale that's cheap that I can fix up. Because I'll, I'll do work. I'll work on it. You heard it. It's kind of like seeing a sub sale. Kind of hungry. They're selling subs. Oh no. That's a, gar <laughs> that's a garage sale. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, if you saw our old video on that. <laughs> I was confused by the word sub-sale. Thought that they were selling submarine sandwiches. He's like, I wonder what kind of sandwiches they have. And I was so confused because we're in a neighborhood. It was a sub-sale. Because there's a sub-sale. I'm like, that's a subdivision sale. Yep. <laughs> and this is really brown. It's not blonde or <laughs> anything, you know. No, I'm just, I was totally out of it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. I love you. Never know what's going to come out. Gonna hang out. <laughs> Me and Spidey are going to hang out today with the dog. I'm going to go, go for work. a little walks. You know, I did notice my, I don't have it on because it's charging, <clears throat> um, but uh, I noticed my steps are higher <laughs> there you go. with the dog because I'm taking her out every 45 minutes to an hour. So that's a positive thing. Yeah. We don't go for a long walk. We go for like a 10 minute walk around the yard and then, you know. She loves leaves, and dear Lord, we have a tree that has a ton of leaves. And it's so turning, she like puts it in her mouth, and she'll like run around with it. It's like, oh my gosh. Yep. It's turned to fall here, so yeah, we got all those leaves falling every day. Yep. Wait till there's like a whole <coughs> bed of leaves. She's just going to go out there and roll on them, I'm sure. Ah, we'll to be a, a puppy. To be a puppy. Right. Yeah. I think the biggest thing, you know, the potty train doesn't even bother me. It's the chewing on everything. I, I, I got to remember, you know, she's a pup. I've got plenty of toys. I've got lots of bones. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of toys. I've even got her little uh, puppy yeah. Kong so yeah. that we can, it's a softer one and you can put a little bit of stuff in it for her. So trying to, trying to do good for her and make her happy. Up to it. And then we got the little nylon bones. These things are awesome. She loves this. 
I think it's I think it's chicken flavored <laughs> or something. I don't know. She likes it though. So for a couple bucks it was worth it. It was. All right guys. Take care. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I hope if you're doing keto, you're doing well. And um, we will catch you next week. See you later. Bye. Bye.